Welcome to our tutorial about the lofted flange. Let's start with a sketch, a rectangle, and the line tool. Right click, done. Let's select our new line and convert it to construction geometry. And let's add a coincident relation between this point and the center point. Let's add an equal relation. We'll apply dimensions to one of the sides, 40 millimeters. OK. Exit the sketch. And let's take an isometric view. Let's create a work plane now on the XY plane. We'll offset it by 40 millimeters. OK. Let's create a sketch now on our new work plane. Circle tool. Let's dimension it. Diameter 20 millimeters. OK. And finish the sketch. Now let's right click on work plane 1 and hide it. Visibility. Activate the lofted flange tool. It's also on the Create panel of the Sheet Metal tab. First thing to do is select a profile. And the second profile. Here's a preview of our lofted flange. Let's click here to flip the side. In the output section, we can choose between a press break and die formed. Die formed creates a smooth output. This output obviously creates a press break output of the lofted flange. The facet control area controls the size of the resulting faceted faces. Option A, chord tolerance, controls the maximum distance from the arc segments. Let's enter a value, let's say 5 millimeters. As you see in the preview, the loft does look different. Option B, Facet Angle. This option is determined by the angle value between the tangent line and the chord segment. The last option is Facet Distance. This value is determined by the width of the chord segment. Let's go look at the Unfold Options tab. On this tab, we specify unfold rules. Let's go back to the Shape tab and click OK. And this concludes our tutorial about the lofted flange tool.